and welcome to Hello. another Bible Creative interview. Kathy, I'm so glad to have you with us today. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. Yay. So here we are on Saturday. We were talking about how oh, we like our weekends and taking a rest. And um, But we've got this interview to do. We're going to do it and then we will go and rest. <laughs> right. <laughs> no rest for the so, weary. <laughs> so those of you who are watching, this is Kathy Morrissey. And I'm so excited to be able to introduce her to you uh, for during this conference and uh, just a little sneak peek right now. Um, so Kathy, would you just tell us a little bit more about who you are? Yes, I'm Kathy Morrissey, and I'm the owner at the um, Character Corner, where I love to blog and encourage parents to be purposeful in pointing their kids to God and his word and help them develop biblical godly character. Um, I have eight children. They're all grown now, and I'm delighted to say I have 17 grandkids, which has been really fun, yes. And I've been a speaker at homeschool conferences for over 25 years now, and also I've done some mom's retreats or church conferences. So um, I just love encouraging moms, and especially now that I'm on the other side and I'm watching my kids raise the grandkids, mm -hmm. it's a great reminder to me of just the need to encourage parents and to help them know the importance of getting your kids into God's word, getting it into their hearts and minds. Mm -hmm. And um, I've written two character curriculums to help parents build character in their kids using scripture. The fun thing is I've been doing some of the lessons with my grandkids. And that's been really fun because they're much more open to me, of course, than they are to their parents. Right, <laughs> Just right. as my kids are. So I've been able to work with them on some things. Two of them are living with us right now because their dad's deployed. So their mom and them are with us. And I've been able to take them to scripture. Just this morning, they were squabbling. So I was talking to the older one, the um, eight-year-old boy. And I just took him to God's word about that because he was saying how his sister did such and such. And he said, so I want to do something back. I said, well, you know what the Bible says about that? His eyes got real big. He said, what? I said, what the Bible that? says, don't return evil for evil. So when somebody does something mean, you shouldn't do something mean back. And he said, that's so hard. <laughs> so anyway, all that to say, we sometimes we make it harder than we need to, to get our kids into the Bible. Everyday opportunities like that pop up. We just have to take advantage of them. And that's yes. what I'm excited about sharing about. <laughs> yes, yes. So, uh, so that's um, in your in your session. Um, is that the type of thing that you're going to be focusing well, on, or actually, do you that's have anything something that just specific? that's just something that happened today to <laughs> that I thought would be yeah. good to share. But yes, in my session, I'll be talking about how to diligently teach God's word to your kids because that is a Bible command. And as parents, it's easy for us to think. I'll let the church or the Sunday school do it or the Christian school. And as parents, it's our job. So my purpose of the workshop is to help parents know how they can diligently keep God's word in the hearts and minds of their kids and also how to get them excited about it. We don't want them to just be every day like, oh, time for Bible again. We want right. them to be excited about it. So I'll be sharing some things we did with our kids that got them excited about the Bible. I love that. I love that. I, um, I, so we homeschool, I homeschool my kids. And, um, so I've done the whole, uh, homeschool conference, but I came <laughs> as an attendee, you know, so, right. um, and that's kind of how I knew your name. Uh, I don't know yeah. if you were part, I'm pretty sure you were part Were you, did you go to the teach them diligently conferences? Where I you, did some of their online ones during COVID. I've never been to one in person. So one in person. Okay. And then um, the great homeschool convention. I don't know if you were. Yeah, yes. Yes. So okay. So see. Yep. Yeah. So, so it's so fun to have um, uh, people that I have learned from. Uh, that's one reason why I've invited certain people to be a part of this conference, especially this year, because I get to have people like you, uh, that I have learned from in the past, dealing with my own kids, teaching my kids, discipling my kids, mm -hmm. and then being able to share you with other parents and church leaders, especially church leaders who are trying to help their parents right. and their churches disciple. Um, mm -hmm. I think more and more church leaders are seeing the 
maybe the disconnect that yeah. uh like what you said we give we've given so much i don't know if power is the right word but we've given so much um uh allowability <laughs> i don't even know the right word the responsibility yeah, giving the church the ability to teach our kids instead of our the parents teaching the kids. It's like the, the church has kind of taken that out. And now church leaders are already beginning to see, oh, wait, uh, we probably uh, need to invest in our parents better right. so that they will then disciple their kids. So um, yes. I think even though your session may be more focused on parents, I think if church leaders would also come and then they would then be able to take what you're saying and then communicate it to their parents right? Yes, as absolutely. well. Yes. Yeah. And the reason I love your conference, I think this is so important because my son is in the ministry and I was talking to him over the Christmas break and he said that he just heard someone say, and it just resonated with both of us, that the, the biggest fear we have is that we're raising a generation of young people that are Bible illiterate. Mm -hmm. And we've got to realize the importance of getting God's word into our kids' hearts and minds. It's their only protection in the world we're living in. It's their right. guide. Right. Yeah. And, um, yeah, and so that is one of the key um, <clears throat> takeaways that I hope a lot of the attendees at Bible Creative will take is that what they are doing is so super important. Yes. And we must be intentional with the time that we have. Right. Um, whether it's whether we are a Christian parent with our own kids, like you mm -hmm. see now with yours growing up, right? right? Yes. That you're uh -huh. seeing the fruit or maybe the lack thereof in some areas, you know? Right, yes. Um, and then um, with our, our church leaders and um, being able to help parents disciple. So it, I just am so grateful that you are joining us this year. So in finishing up, what is your go-to Bible teaching tip or your teaching strategy that uh, you highly, highly recommend for uh, somebody who could even go tomorrow into their Sunday school class and do. Okay. For me, the biggest thing that I found that's important is that we ourselves are excited about the Bible. When was the last time your kids heard you share something that God sh showed you when you read your Bible? Or when you went to church, did you go home and tell your kids, I'm so excited, God? taught me this through the preaching of his word. We have to get excited if we want our kids to be excited. And there is that saying that you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink, but right. you can salt his oats. And as parents, mm. we need to salt their oats. And we speak out of the abundance of our heart. What we're excited about, what we value, that's what we talk about. So mm. do our kids hear us talking about God's word and how it's helping us? Do we live by it where throughout the day we bring it up and say oh, this really relates here and it's just a natural thing versus a compartment it should just be part of everything we do something we're excited about then our kids are going to have a hunger and thirst for it yes i yeah. love the idea of salting the oats i love that idea yes. that is so good <laughs> That's so good. I haven't heard that before. That's I like right. That, and so. it's true. Yeah, it is. Yeah. We, I mean, we can't just... make them love God's word. We can't say, you know, mm -hmm. you live in our home. We are going to read the Bible every day and you're going to like it. Right. We can't say that, but we can't force their hearts, but we can create that hunger. And I right. think sometimes that's what's lacking is we're kind of ho-hum about it. Okay. It's time for devotions. Go get right. your Bible. <laughs> right. Versus right. excitement. Let's see what God has for us today. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Uh, well, Kathy, thank you so much for being You're here welcome. today, taking time out of your Saturday. Uh, but then also I'm excited to hear from you in a couple of weeks. And um, for those of you who are watching, make sure that you get your free ticket at BibleCreativeConference.com. You're going to be hearing from Kathy and some of the other wonderful speakers there. It'll be a great three days. And Kathy, thank you so much for being here. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everybody.